Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was, Frederick, what super specific programming skill has served you very well? So let's get into it. Well, if we're gonna be super specific about it, I don't know what super specific uh, means. Uh, I'm assuming it's not like declaring a variable or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go a little bit broader, broader than that. And let's see, I think that the, Best answer here is going to be regu regexes or regular expressions for sure. If we're talking about something that is super specific and just one aspect of programming. So yeah, that's gonna be my answer. Regex or regular expressions. The reason is very simple. It's very, very, very often that you find that you need to figure out, you have some lump of data, a string of some sort, and you need to figure out something about it. You need to figure out if it is a phone number or if it's an email or if it's some other, it's actually kind of funny because those, although these are like the common examples on the net, on the internet for use cases for this, it's actually not that, that often that I need to do this sort of thing, but it's very, very often that you get into a scenario where you have some lump of information. Let's say that you're screen scraping for some reason. For those of you who don't know what screen scraping is, Screen scraping is just you sending a request to some web page on the internet and then you scrape out the information from the HTML. You basically extract that information. And usually what happens is that you have this un, you have a lump of data that is in a shape that you don't necessarily need. You need to extract information from that lump of data. Now usually what's easiest to do here is that you either use a very, very advanced regular expression or you try to use some basic logic based on the shape of the data to split out in, in things like you, you split if you're in JavaScript land on some symbols within the string. So you get a subset of the data and then you can regex match on that as an example. And this is very effective if you need to extract information, like a piece of information from a very large unformatted or unstructured piece of information. I've used this many, 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 many times. Uh, it's not on a daily basis, but it's something that happens at least on, let's say at least on a monthly or bi-weekly basis where you have something like that or you have a need li like that. And many times you have situations where Actually, it's kind of funny because one of the <laughs> one of the most common things that I've had to do in recent time is that the and this is something that I feel very, very, very bad for a lot of poor, poor people who have had to do this manually because they don't have programming skills. Let's see if you can relate to this. Uh, I was basically asked, or rather, my one of my product owners who showed me a a data set that was, I think it was 800,000 lines in one single Excel document. Yep. And this, the basic, basically the challenge here was to figure out how, like basically, basically you just extract some of this information and also have, because there was one of the fee, one of the columns or in, in this data set had unformatted information that somehow needed to be extracted. I mean, this person, like the first like thought that this, this, uh, this guy had was that, all right, I'm just gonna have to crunch it. It's gonna take me several days or weeks maybe to, to extract all of this information. I mean, doing it manually, just by hand, going through 800,000 rows of information and just changing a piece of text so that it was in the correct format that he needed, that he needed right? And so I told him like, yeah, do give me maybe, like if, because there was a lot of inc inconsistencies in the data, yes, give me half a day and I will create something that will fix this for you. And I did, and it's something that would have, in a manual process would have taken, I don't know how long, took just an hour or two maybe, something like that. And then we had the results right. And I know for a fact that there are quite a lot of organizations out there where people, you know, people working in an office where they need to do something like that. They need to extract information from a really, really large data set and they just have to go through it uh, by hand and it's just a horrible nightmare. So having some 
basic programming skills is absolutely amazing. I used to, uh, one, at my first job, I needed to do some very similar things as well, where I worked towards, uh, not, with, uh, not at, but towards the tax office. And they had records, like the application I was building was for tax purposes and salary management and things of this nature. And in order for you to do that in an accurate manner, you actually needed to know what the tax rules had been historically as well because people could basically import their tax records from from their business and the business you know they, it could span many 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 years back in in the past right and they just had this really 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 large file with different tax rules like just row after row after row what all the different calculation values should be should have been at that moment in time to do the correct calculation for how much you were going to pay in taxes and I mean, we're talking about millions and millions of records. And at that time, I just used a program called Awk. It should be in your shell if you use Linux, which is basically a program that allows you, or it's a very, very small programming language that allows you to do some fairly advanced pattern matching. It's not just regexes, but it's the same sort of functionality, right? And so it was, I mean, it would have been completely impossible for me to extract all, uh, all this information from that format and put it into a JSON format because it's a non-standard format, right? Uh, without having knowledge of pattern matching, regexes, and in this case, awk. So it's, uh, it, it's, this is a skill that has served me very well. So what I want you to take away from this is that for me at least, the, one of the most specific programming skills that I've had a, quite a lot of use for is regular expressions. Whenever you have a, the need to figure out if a string is a certain type of value, if it follows a certain pattern, or you need to extract a piece of information from a really large unformatted piece of information, this is a perfect tool to solve that problem. And it's, you would be surprised on how many times you need to do this sort of thing throughout your career. Have a great day.